Okay, so whenever you're ready, can you explain what you build? So we're building a drawing robot that can move X, Y direction and has a pen that can move in a Z direction. Basically, you can draw everything you want. And uh, based on the function, we build a letter writer. So you can write something, uh, different letters with different front uh, by simply typing in the uh, serial monitor yeah. input. Okay. Do a, do a demo first? Sure. Okay. So uh, first you input uh, the front size you want. Uh, if we choose 100, and then you can start with the letter C. And print a C. And uh, choose O. And print an O. Sure. <laughs> okay, R. E. N. N. <laughs> so <laughs> small. Too long. E. And L. And L. Oh, man. Also, too we can cool. print. Hunter's name too. Do you want to see it? <laughs> sure. Or do you want to try it? Uh, you, I'll let you do it because I don't okay. want to break okay. anything. Okay. Let's move so we'll down a little bit. Yeah. And put this off so that we can put this in the initial yeah. position. Put it here. Um, it won't go fast. Okay. reaching its limit okay so we might need to uh, rewind sure a little yeah. bit okay yeah oh oh and use a new paper yeah. yeah that's your new paper yeah can do some editing here so <laughs> nobody could find it out it's actually changed so let's do the h again okay okay <laughs> a shot of the geometry. We can make a bigger E, maybe? Yeah. And let's make an even bigger. Oh, no, smaller. Bigger, bigger. Make it bigger. Yeah, that's also reaches the limit. Maybe okay. make a smaller R then? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so cool. So this is um, this is amazing for a four week project. Holy cow! It is really hard. <laughs> it, was, well, it, well, we we thought we first we, thought the we, mechanic part would be the most hard thought, part. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah it took up uh, most of the time because we basically three D printed of the, the blue color you saw over here and also this pen holder and then and it took us some time to get to the correct sizes because yeah, exactly. unless it is yeah. fitting the belt won't tie, be tight and we won't we would we won't get the continuous writing sure so those had to be adjusted so those that took some time so we thought the code might be a little bit easier mm. but Why? then uh, we weren't able to figure out drawing curves in the last minute we were able to do the straight lines and the server was running before this, but we were not able to do that, so we drew one line diagram. Sure, now. sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we should be clear that this is not a kit. You you no, guys no, built yeah. this whole yeah. Yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the part of what make am I correct? The part of what makes writing and drawing with this so challenging is the coordinate system is rather puzzling yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. so this is not an x y uh direction mm, so if we actually yeah, yeah. power this off so we can move this two motor so uh -huh. in an x y direction if you rotate one side uh this would move in uh, that yeah. direction yeah, yeah. but because you put in the uh, same axis if you rotate one side it's actually oh because it's um it's, in this it's stuck here if we pull back a little bit yeah. and if you I'm rotate yeah, if you rotate one side, it's actually moving 45, 45 degree. degree. Right. So you have a different axis. So actually, uh, each uh, stepper motor is not uh, controlling yes. one uh, axis, 
both of them are combining to form the x y uh, control directions right that is why it becomes a little more complicated mm. but it saves up a lot yeah. of space if it is an x y and we we'll have to put the servos in different in a position yeah that and the framework will become bigger so we saved a lot of space there yeah, yeah it saves a lot of, it's, the geometry is so clever yeah so we can demonstrate how it can move this way or this way okay so if you rotate them together at that time it will go in the then it's moving it. vertically yeah. yeah okay if you rotate them um okay which direction should i go this way and this way yes so you're rotating them opposite directions now yeah and, and it uh, goes horizontally exactly my goodness so there's two so there's two stepper motors mm -hmm. Um, and then in the end effector here, you also have a servo motor yes. for the pen. lifting the for pen. Lifting the pen. Mm -hmm. My goodness. It's really impressive. And can you, can you talk through a little bit? So, so the whole thing's being controlled by the Raspberry Pi Pico. Yeah. And then can you explain a little bit what else is, um, just here on the breadboard? Yeah. So we are here having two motor drivers to control these two stepper motors and uh, we have connected the motor drivers uh, with the raspberry pi and we are since the stepper motors require a lot of power so we are giving an external source of mm -hmm. ex yeah. uh, external source of power from here and 12 uh, volt uh, 2 amps mm -hmm. output so this is powering the stepper motors here yeah, yeah. Exactly. okay gotcha and the drivers are getting and you're powering the drivers from the, um, yeah. the power supply. Because Pi won't be enough to give power to all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And each driver needs two input, one input for step. So whenever it sees a, a step function from zero to one, it will move the step motor one step. And it also receives another uh, input called direction. Mm -hmm. You set it zero, you move uh, uh, this way counterclockwise. You set to one, you move clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is incredibly impressive. I just want to get a nice shot of the top here. Really, really nice. Is, is there anything else that you want to say about it? Or well, is that about some, I have some thoughts? Sure. First, I feel like this project is more of a, like we didn't exactly finish it as like enjoying any curves, but mm -hmm. if someone in the future want to do it, they can immediately like jump in because we will share the 3D mm -hmm. file, so you can just print it one day, and then match by one day, buying the rest of the file, which will, uh, the rest of the comp uh, components, which will also list, so they can like spend in their yeah. week one to start program the whole thing. That'd be great. And because would... it's like, we spent a lot of time on the mechanical structure, so yeah. we understood we could have added more complexity with the diagrams. Mm -hmm. So if somebody does not, does not have to spend on the mechanical structure, maybe they can draw more elaborate, more better mm -hmm. diagrams the that would be fabulous yeah that'd be really the the mechanical design that you've got here is really really nice i think the main thing we could have achieved by drawing a curve or by drawing lines at other uh, in other angles sure at right now we were only able to achieve 45, 45 degree lines because that's how each yeah. right so so right now you can draw vertical lines horizontal lines and 45 mm -hmm. degree yes. lines which is enough to make text and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. Really, really nice. It's really nice. Thank you. Anything else? What's the, I, I want to show this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a box of the 3D failure oh, products God. we have. Each of them is like one version that either like has like for this, this one, the whole size is too small to fit the raw. This uh, one, the bearing size is too small. Yeah, so it's like keep updated and like yeah, different this, versions. This took us weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We That's why this takes so long. A one nail not fitting would cause a lot of problems, but it's like if one nail is not fitting, this is not getting stabilized. So this is not getting exactly. stabilized. The belt is not getting and then tighter. Yeah, they find nails with the, uh, uh, the yeah. 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 For your final web page, make sure you stage a photo with this and all the failures <laughs> next to it. That yeah. tells such a great story. <laughs> we went to hardware stores in Ithaca to yeah. find nails that fit the belt <laughs> for the yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So that, but that was a very fun part to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like other projects we have done, they left coding parts, but this we focused one part in mechanical which was very interesting 
and we understood that it takes a lot of time yeah so hats off to those people <laughs> who only work with mechanical structures yeah. it's really amazing really really amazing thank you all that's really cool oh, thank you so much